Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define the tensile zone, the compressive zone, and the neutral axis of the beam. So before going into the topic, I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my channel that I have given the link in the description that is a traveling diaries. So now let's come to the main topic. So how we can define the tensile axis are the tensile zone, the compressive zone, and the neutral and the neutral axis of the beam. So let's consider this is a beam and there is any uniformly distributed load acting on this beam W. So what happens upon this load, the beam will try to bend like in this way. It will show bending. So the beam is bent like in this way and it shows some stresses in the beam. So we call the stresses created in this beam is now known as the bending stresses. Bending stresses or we call it flexure stresses. Flexure stresses. So now what are these bending and flexure stresses? So if I draw or look into the cross section of this beam, for example, if I look into the cross section of the beam, if this is cross section AA and I draw the cross section of the beam here AA so what happens so because of the load I will draw the mid axis or the neutral axis of the beam here call it neutral axis in A any means neutral axis so neutral axis is the region or the zone where it divides the beam into two parts into compression zone and the bending or the tension zone so neutral axis is the region or the zone or the axis of the beam where it has compression zone and the tension zone so it basically divides the compression zone and the neutral or the uh, sorry the tension zone so it divide so it divide the compression zone and tension zone so this is the axis that divides the compression zone and the tension zone now how we can say that where is our compression zone and where is our tension zone so we know that the load is acting from the top of the beam so the if i draw the neutral axis here in this beam which has been bended so the top region the top region has been compressed because of the load and concrete is going to take this compression so now this region is is in compression we call it C because it is compressed and now the other region which is below the neutral axis this was neutral axis now the other region below the neutral axis is in tension so we call this type of zone is the tension zone here now this is known as the tension zone and what we have to do we know that compression that concrete is good in compression concrete is provided in compression zone so concrete can take the compression compressive stresses while in tension zone here in tension zone we have to provide the steel reinforcement or steel bars in order to take the tension so steel bars are provided in tension zone in order to take the tensile stresses while concrete is provided in compression in order because it is high compressive strength so it can take the compressive stresses. So there are three different types or the different terminologies used here in the beam behavior. One is called the compression zone. It is the zone where the beam is under compression which is represented by C here and this is from the top of the beam till to the neutral axis. So this is known as the compression zone and below we, we have a neutral axis and then below the neutral axis our beam is in tension so we call such type of zone as the tension zone where the beam is in tension now. So this zone which is represented by T is known as the this zone is known as the tension zone. So hope you guys understand the three different types of the 
um, parameters used in the design of the beam. One is the neutral axis used to uh, divide the compression zone and tension zone. And one is the compression zone where the beam is under compression. And one is the tension zone where the beam is under tension. In tension, we always provide the reinforcement bar in order to increase the tensile capacity of the beam. In compression zone, the concrete is there to take the compressor stresses. So, hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video. And also guys, please don't forget to subscribe our new channel. I have given the link in the description. Thank you guys.